Hello and welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, hello, my name is Skylar. I am a certified dog trainer and pet nutritionist. And today we're going to be introducing the very first episode of a new series for this YouTube channel, Myth Busting Mondays. So this is a series that I have been doing on my Instagram for a few months now, where essentially the dog training industry is completely unregulated. You can call yourself a dog trainer and say and do whatever you want. And unfortunately that can be super harmful and lead to a lot of myths and misinformation being spread to the public. So as a certified dog trainer with a high regard for continued education, we're going to bust some of these myths and give you more factual information so that you can learn a little bit more along the way. Today's myth is addressing a pretty common question that I get here on the channel, and that's you can't mix raw and kibble. Now, first and foremost, there's no such thing as all raw or no raw. That's something that I say a lot here on my channel. And that basically means that if you're unable to feed a fully raw diet, you can totally just incorporate bits and pieces of raw into what you're already feeding. So if you're feeding, you know, 50% kibble, 50% raw, that's awesome. If you're feeding 80% kibble and 20% raw, that's awesome. If you're feeding all kibble and adding some raw goat's milk, because that's all you can do right now, that's awesome. There's no such thing as all raw or no raw. The more, especially meat and moisture, you can add to your pet's diet, the better for them in the first place. Modern raw feeding trends can be traced back to the mid to late 90s when Australian veterinarian and nutritionist Dr. Ian Billinghurst created the BARF model, with BARF standing for biologically appropriate raw food. The whole principle of the BARF model is to go back to what our dogs are evolutionarily designed to be eating, which is a combination of meat, organ, bones, and limited leafy greens, seeds, nuts, etc. that you would typically find in the digestive tract of prey. In the earlier days of this raw feeding journey, there weren't very many commercial raw options that there are today. You often hear me talk about brands like Stella & Chewy's or Primal or Answers or all of the other great brands that create commercially available raw pet foods that you and I can very easily pick up at our favorite independent pet store. Barf diets were primarily made at home, people reading books, looking at websites, creating things on their own based off of what they can get at the grocery store or butcher shop. During this time, it was pretty common belief that you should not mix kibble and raw, and if you are feeding both kibble and raw food, you should at least separate them into, for example, a kibble breakfast and a raw dinner. The idea of this concept was that raw food requires a little bit of a higher stomach acidity in order to digest. It also digests a lot quicker, whereas kibble makes the stomach acid much less acidic and takes a lot longer to digest. The theory here was that if you're feeding them both the same time, the kibble's gonna make the stomach acid not acidic enough to properly digest the raw food as it would normally. It would also make the digestion process a lot slower, which would leave the raw food in there a lot longer, which in theory would increase the likelihood of harmful bacteria being introduced to the body. Now this idea of you can't mix kibble and raw has been a pretty long-standing theory and it's something that I still get questions about and hear pretty often today. And personally, this is something that I was very curious about too when I started getting into raw feeding and you know, food toppers and all of these things that I'm a pretty big advocate for on my channel. I've talked to a few other experts, but the one that sticks out the most to me is a pretty good conversation that I had with Roxanne Stone. She is the founder of Answers Raw Pet Food and currently the founder and owner of Cure Pet Food. She is a food biologist, that's what she has her degree in, and what she had to say on the topic reflected pretty similarly to what I've experienced with my own dogs as well as working with various friends, peers, clients, etc. who are feeding both kibble and raw. In short, unless your dog has proven that they cannot digest the two together, it's totally fine and safe to incorporate both kibble and raw in the same meal. And the benefits of having additional meat and moisture in with your kibble far outweigh any potential risks that may come up from feeding the two together. The theorized risks of mixing the two is further lessened if you're feeding a commercial raw pet food. And this is what I typically recommend people do if they're interested in raw feeding. At least in the United States, pet food, all pet food, kibble, canned, cooked, and raw are required to have 0% pathogens. No E. coli, no salmonella, no listeria. This means that feeding a commercial raw pet food is just as risky as far as harmful bacteria goes as feeding your kibble or your canned food. Adding additional meat and moisture, whether it's from raw food or canned food or 
cooked chicken breast on the stove is going to help increase the digestibility of the kibble in the first place, making it much easier to digest, much easier to absorb all the nutrients your pet needs. It also helps to alleviate a lot of the stress and pressure put on organs like the kidneys or the liver. Because kibble is so highly processed, so hard to digest, and so void of moisture, adding all of this back in helps to alleviate some of that pressure on the kidneys and liver, making it much easier to digest, and helping to reduce damage to those organs that can happen over time for a variety of reasons, but including difficult to digest food. If by chance you are feeding both kibble and raw at the same time and you find that your personal dog just isn't digesting it well, you can absolutely try spreading it out. Seeing, you know, if maybe doing kibble in the morning and raw at night, for example, is going to make it easier for them to digest. If so, that's great. You can absolutely split those up if you'd like. Otherwise, it's not a necessity. Again, you're more than welcome to if you'd like, but it's not required. The idea of mixing both kibble and raw is not only being shown that it's safe, but it's being encouraged now. There's tons of different raw topper options like freeze-dried raw or frozen raw nuggets or raw goat's milk or tons of other raw options that are made specifically to be added to whatever kibble diet you're already feeding in order to help boost the nutrients, boost the meat, boost the moisture in some cases. As we continue to learn more, thoughts and ideas definitely change, and I'm happy to say that this is one of those things that makes raw feeding a lot more accessible to a lot more people. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and this new series on the channel. I do hope to do it fairly regularly, and if you'd like to see more of these Mythbusting Mondays, definitely head over to my Instagram account, at Top Dog Behavior is where I post all of these and short little reel contents. You can also follow me on my personal Instagram. That one's going to be more personal and YouTube-y side of things. And that's Tattoo.DogTrainer. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. Because again, I'm hoping to continue doing this a little bit more in depth than I get to be over on Instagram or TikTok. I also encourage you to leave any other myths or misconceptions that need to be busted down in the comments below. I will often go through those in comment sections and kind of gather up a list for future Myth Busting Monday ideas. And I'd love to answer them short and sweet over on Instagram, but I'm really liking being able to go a little bit more in depth here. So let me know if this is something you want to see more of. That is all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!